This is Dapu7. We have talk of this 2016 WF9 coming very close to Earth on February 25th. NASA saying 32 million miles. Others disagreeing saying that this thing may potentially hit Earth. I've heard this so many times. Time and time again. And I'll be honest with you. If something's going to hit this planet, I almost feel like it's going to creep up. There's going to be no warning. It's not going to be associated with any other thing. It's just going to happen. Pretty much just like the Shelia Binks event. And they said, oh, it came in from the direction of the sun. We didn't see it coming. You know, while they had all their cameras operational watching Apophis, this thing comes in. They didn't see it coming in, they say. Which, at a certain distance from the sun, I find that impossible um, with how they got everything positioned. But that's what they're saying. In, with all the lies that come from NASA, you have to use discernment. Regardless. Now, we've seen th things like Elenin, Comet Elenin, th that fizzled out and didn't do what everyone was hoping, but it was weird. It had a triangular shape, some very weird anomalies that were with it, and the way it behaved was very weird. Now, the same thing could be said about this thing, because they're saying that it's not a comet or, or an asteroid at this point. They're having a hard time distinguishing because it has the size of a comet, but... It does not have the dust, the tail, the composition. And they're saying it is very dark that when things on the surface pick up any light from the sun or any other light reflecting off of it, that it's very minimal. So this is a very dark object coming in. Now, there's a self-proclaimed Russian astronomer saying that this is coming from the Nibiru system. We always hear these things. I tell you, every year, someone on some channel says it's here. It's going to be here by September of this year. You hear it all the time, and it never happens. I truly believe that we will get hit with something, but it's probably going to pop up kind of like the Shelly Binks event with little warning. That's why I always say have a plan. Now, depending on the size and the devastating nature of an impact, uh, it could change life forever, obviously. I personally think that uh, there is more out there. They keep hinting at this other body coming in. Although they, in this article they want to say this guy's talking about Nibiru. Then they say that scientists do admit there is another body, a planet nine. Not Pluto, a bigger body that is influencing our planets and perturbing things. Many of them saying that. Uh, January of just this past year, scientists saying that they're almost 100% certain there's something else out there. They've been saying this for decades, hinting at it. But yet, if you want to talk about it and call it Nibiru or anything else, they want to laugh at you. Now, the reason Nibiru is mentioned is because this goes back to the Anunnaki. And the Anunnaki, are the le that's the legendary story of who landed in Africa to mine for gold. And the story of the Eden it's what they called it, the Eden story, story very similar to the Garden of Eden, the Eden, and they tell the story of how they created man to mine for gold. And where did they come from in that story? They say the planet Nibiru, and that they needed the gold from this planet for their atmosphere, with their leader being Anu. That's how that story goes, in terms of Nibiru and all this. But there was something that happened where a massive body come through and they say it was Nibiru that hit Tiamat or they hit this other rock and that's what ended up forming the belt and eventually earth and everything else there was a massive collision so to speak a long time ago but if you look at some of the ancient writings on the Egyptian pyramids, they clearly depict another body out there. It seems to me they know what this is. They know full well what this is. It's what they want to keep of the highest secrets. And to me, it would be something they would keep secret until literally they couldn't keep it secret no more. And it would take time, lots of time, traveling through the solar system for a planet size or star sized body uh, to be making its way in or out. And it would have a lot of influence on a lot of things, guys. 
it would influence Saturn, the moons around Jupiter, Neptune, the way those planets are tilted, everything. If a massive body was coming in. So those are key things to remember to look at down the road. If wondering, if you're not seeing any action in the outer planets, any movement, anything that's thrown them off big time, well, then it doesn't look like something massive is, is coming in yet. Although, if this thing comes in from the south, below our plane, below the ecliptic plane, which is very possible too, that could be a game changer. Not affecting any of the planets till it really comes up toward the sun and into our view, coming in from the south, so to speak. What you're looking at here are light pillars. These are amazing light pillars that were caught by someone that thought that these were auroras at first, or what they call false auroras. These light pillars happening when you get the crystallization in the atmosphere and then the different colors pillar up through the sky. I've shown this before. David David Bell of Pine Pinedale, Wyoming caught this. Colorful lights in the sky. And that's it's pretty cool. It's pretty amazing. If you're driving down the highway, you're heading toward a city and you look up and you see this. Yeah, it's probably going to be pretty damn cold out, but that's going to be a pretty awesome sight to see right there. And I will leave a link over here to Space Weather. You guys can see they track some of these incoming objects and they do not have the one they're warning about on this chart yet and we'll see if it makes it I will continue to update I'll leave links in the description box and until next time it's been Dabu 7 eyes to the skies